All right, and you heard in them are one of the main researchers who made this discovery, Dr. Dominic Papineau, and he is a lecturer in, wait for it, let me get this right, nanobiogeochemistry at the Center for Nanotechnology at University College London. And he joins us now. Good to see you. Help explain why this is such an exciting find. Well, because it has uh, implications for the origin of life, for the evolution of life, and also for searching for extraterrestrial life. So there's uh, very broad implications for our discovery. Now, not to take away from your achievement, but some experts in your field are skeptical. What makes your team so sure that this find is really that of fossilized life forms? Right. So. The skepticism is is uh, is uh, adequate. I think the, it's not. Uh, it was not expected to find microfossils in these old rocks because they've been metamorphosed uh, at temperatures more than 450 to 500 degrees Celsius. But uh, despite that fact, we also found that uh, the microfossils themselves contain. Uh, they are made of hematite, but they are also uh, have many morphological traits that make them very similar. To modern uh, living fossil, uh, well, to modern living uh, iron oxidizing bacteria, so they uh, they have uh, corkscrew shapes. they are filaments that are uh, that are, are surrounded by tubes. They're attached to little knobs of hematite, and they they also have branching. So all these characteristics we observed them. So we're quite confident that mm -hmm. that that's what we found. How did you work out that they were about four million years old? Four billion. That oh, is. sorry. That's excuse a me. A B. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. A billion with a B, indeed. So uh, they are at least 3.77 billion years old, uh, and that is uh, a date that comes from rocks that have intruded this uh, supercrustal belt. Uh, they have been dated with very precise and reliable uh, geochronological, geochronological techniques. So you on zircons. Uh, but the rocks themselves, the, the, the volcanic rocks themselves, could be as old as 4.28 billion years old. Uh, and that was dated with a slightly less reliable method, uh, but still that has proven its usefulness over, uh, over uh, geologic mm -hmm. uh, history. And mm -hmm. that's with the samarium neodymium, so two mm -hmm. elements that are quite common in the, in the, mm -hmm. in the screen of uh, mobile smartphones. All right. Well, very briefly, if you can, will the history of life on Earth have to be rewritten now? Well, I don't think so, because there's a long history. But maybe uh, some of the textbooks that quote uh, 3.5 billion years old for the oldest life uh, will have to revise that to uh, at least 3.77 billion years, very early after Earth formed. All right, Dr. Dominic Papineau, nanobiogeochemistry expert at the University College in London. Thank you so much for sharing your findings with us. Thank you very much for your time.